Welcome to Divine Enterprises. This is our Tupperware commercial we like to do weekly for you guys. In lieu of a recipe, we're going to go over some custom kitchen planning this week because Tupperware has their incredible sale on modulars right now. So, does everybody have a completely organized you? <laughs> Where's my work phone? Just so you know, next to you. You won't be able to find it. Does everybody have a completely organized pantry? Margaret does, because that's modular Margaret, and she will always have a perfect pantry. She loves modular mates. Why? Because there's no bags, boxes, or bugs. There's no clutter. There's no mess. It's super easy grocery shopping and easy to figure out what you've got in the pantry to use. So I will tell you that when we moved um, recently, well, in March of last year, when we moved, the pantry was a nightmare because... There were bags and the family didn't care and people just threw everything everywhere and we moved in a hot, hot hurry because we wound up having to move a week earlier. So I was like, I cannot wait to redo our pantry because it makes so much more sense. You're not digging and looking for stuff. I can look at a glance and see what's there. If it's a really good treat, you hide it in the back <laughs> in a smaller container. Don't tell anybody it's there. But our modulars come in four simple sizes. A lot of times, um, sorry men, but we'll call them Legos for ladies. And it's one of those things that we can stack and play with. It's a, it's a grown-up toy. So you start with your ovals. And a simple oval, the idea between ovals and squares is ovals will stack on a square. So they can stack up nicely. You can put two on top of any square. So an oval, this is the perfect size for your baking soda. And if you do nothing else but besides, besides replace your baking soda and put it in a Tupperware container, then I've done my job. So your baking soda is in the pantry to absorb to cook for baking, right? But really what it's doing is it absorbs any kind of odor in there. So sometimes it may not even be dog food and cat food. It could be Doritos and butterscotch bits. Those are things that are in my pantry. <laughs> now, you're, now your baking soda tastes like that and doesn't work as well in your cookies and you wonder why they don't turn out so well you're baking. Put a whole box of your baking soda right in here and leave it in the pantry just for baking. You can still use a box in your fridge to absorb nasty odors and whatnot, if you completely, you know, fridge smart and Tupperize your fridge, you won't ever need that again. But these are a size one, and as you see, they just go up. So a two is two of these. Not to Mr. Rogers, you're gonna make you feel dingy, but it, it's true. One, two makes a two. And then when you get to a size three, it's three, four, and five. Five's as high as it goes. So depending on your cabinet, most cabinets will actually take on my favorites, which are rectangles and super ovals. Even an apartment that I redid her pantry. My very first custom kitchen I did was for a college gal. She had just graduated and was an intern um, at my day job. And she was storing her food because the apartment was so small. She was storing it in her laundry room. There was like a little closeted laundry room area and she had a shelf over the washing machine. She was putting her food up there like right next to your Tide and your Downy. I was like, Pump the brakes, sister, let me help you out. <laughs> so they will tell you that using modular mates will actually save you about 25% of your pantry space. And that is 100% true. So I went through and was able to modularize her tiny little apartment kitchen with rectangles and super ovals. It fit the cabinet front to back. Front to back, the whole thing was full. So she couldn't stash any secret treats, but she lived alone, so that was okay. <laughs> I live with a small person and my husband, and I need to stash what I want to have. Cause it's like, you know, like Margaret said, I licked it so it's mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> so these are, you can, I don't get to bake a lot. I do enjoy baking, I just don't have the time for it. So usually I'm a once a year baker and I'm actually behind. So the neighbors that are like, I thought you were baking for me. Give me a minute, this weekend you'll get some stuff. So this will actually hold a five pound bag of sugar. I just dump it right in here and stack it up. One of the things that's really funny is you can put a whole bag of tortilla chips or Doritos in here and put your five pound bag of sugar in here. In your pantry without your modulars, can you stack a five pound bag of sugar on top of your chips without crushing them? No, you can in your modular mates. Are you in the military? Do you have family in the military? If they're transferred or, or move, they are able to move any food that's in a modular mate because they approve those, these containers, because they will not be traveling that bug, bugs or anything. So if you get weevils or ever, I mean, it's nothing personal, it's nothing hateful. Like, I got upset there was a mouse in our garage, and Greg's like, they're building everywhere. What do you, where do you think these things are going? And I'm like, not in my house. <laughs> so, <laughs> out in the garage, we were on the mouse mission, right? Same so thing in your house. Sometimes you get a bug, and it may have, it's not, doesn't mean that you're a dirty housekeeper or your kitchen's a mess. It means it probably traveled 
with something home from the grocery store with you. A lot of times they like to hide in the glue on the boxes or they like to sit in those, you know, different flour containers, sugar containers. Mm -hmm. If you dump it, if you dump your bag of sugar or your bag of flour into a modular mate and then you see something on the top that's not supposed to be there, you can dump this out and the rest of the food in your pantry is still safe. Everything else is still fresh. It's ridiculous. I saw a lady who does these special um, giveaways at Christmas time. And because your stuff lasts so well in modular mates, who's ever kept a candy cane from last Christmas? And then the next Christmas, it's not quite so candy cane -y, it's kind of gross and a little chewy. <laughs> right. She saves them and puts them in modular mates and uses them. She buys them on clearance, uses them the next year as little handouts and, and she calls them smile things to give to people to make them smile at the grocery store and different things like that. How sweet is that? That's just nice. It's just spreading some kindness. I'm all about spreading kindness this year. So you can take anything that comes in a bag or a box, anything from the grocery store and put it in here. I actually tape on my Bisquit instructions because I will forget. A hundred percent, I will not remember. I don't care what good day it is. I don't care how good my meds are. I will not remember. So I taped it on the top of my seal so I can go back and look at it. But what's nice is my husband works at the grocery store and I've told this story before and he hates it, but it's so true. We, when my daughter was little, we had everything in modular mates. And so he hates the grocery shop. I get it, he's there all day, whatever. So he'd say, do we have enough goldfish? Do we have, you know, little fishies? Yeah, why don't you look in the cabinet? And he'd look and he'd go, oh, we're almost out of those. Great, why don't you pick those up at work today? And then he'd be like, we're almost out of these pretzels, Louise. And I'd say, great, why don't you pick those up at work today? <laughs> he'd finally stop saying anything, okay? Because Every time he said it, I had the answer. Why don't you pick it up? You're already at the store, right? <laughs> he caught on quick. He's no dummy. So we had to right away. You could easily look at the pantry, though, because it's cleared out and make a list. When I was going through and cleaning up my pantry, I found two and three different bags of pretzels because we weren't sure if we had pretzels because they weren't in their modular containers. So the family has completely appreciated how nice it is to have them and how fresh they are. I have had chips in here for several months, you guys. I'm telling you at least four that I had these sour cream onion chips in here. And they were still good. And they weren't all crunched up and I could still eat them. This container we like to call the Oreo container because a package of Oreos fits in here perfectly. Okay, so if you dump the whole package in here and my friend Cheryl Smith will tell you, pop it open and you wanna pop open each corner. You don't wanna run the seal because that will actually stretch it out. So you wanna pop the corners and then lift it off. If you dump your Oreos in here, if you open this under your bed at night, Nobody will hear the packaging because you've dumped them out. Yeah. You open it, you can reach under, you can eat an Oreo. You've been just to see. <laughs> you just never know when that might happen. This, I, I put Chips Ahoy in here too. Fig Newtons we've had in here. Lots of different things. Crackers, pasta. I use our big rectangle five. I use this one for all my boxes of things. There are still some things that I do in a box. I know my mom will kill me. She makes great, my grandma's. Uh, homemade stuffing, and it's great, it's fabulous. I really like stovetop stuffing. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that crap. But I can put boxes in here, cake mixes. We're always putting a cake together for something for Tupperware. I stack those in here, why? Because then if there's any bugs or anything that are in them, first of all, they're convenient to move, okay? We lined them up the other day in the pantry, and you're trying to move these boxes of cake mix, it's a nightmare. So when they're lined up in this, I can just move the whole thing out of my way. But if I opened it up and there was something in there, it's only in that box again. Those bugs are located together. And then I can dump it out, wash it, start over. You're not replacing the whole pantry. The other thing you can do is buy in bulk. So you can buy in the, like the bulk bins at Winco. Pasta, rice. Um, I make my own trail mix because I'm picky. So <laughs> we mix different things that I like in it and put them in actually a super oval too. Now, where this is going to change for you modulars as far as rectangles and super ovals are you a pourer or are you a scooper so for me when it comes to breadcrumbs and it comes to my trail mix things like that i am actually going to put the pour all seal on so that i can just pop it open and pour them out sugar flour this quick those are all going in here with a scoop because i'm going to scoop those out if I put sugar in something like this and try to pour it out, it's going to be all over my kitchen and all over my floor, and I'm going to be angry. So, trying to avoid other people from being harmed, I put a pour all seal on it. But that's totally up to you, and you can decide. Right now, 
you are actually able to order the black or blue seals. The blue are an exclusive. So it's kind of nice to have this fancy, beautiful sapphire blue color, right? Some people use them. I use this one in my bathroom. So this size is in my bathroom and it's got all my pills and anything that I, any supplements I take in there. It's just my stuff, lay off, nobody touch it. Right, done, no problem. We have one like this, because I had to be taller, that has cold medicines, cough drops, day quills, stuff like that in there that everybody can use. Because um, now my child's growing up and she can use regular medicine. <laughs> she doesn't see why that's a big deal. But, as you see, when you can stack your rectangles or your squares and your ovals, same thing with your rectangles and your super ovals. So what we will do when we come out and do your kitchen is we will look at what you have in there. We don't want you to clean it up. We wanna look at what you've got in there, what you use on a regular basis. And we are going to size up what sizes you need. We'll write a little picture of it. Do not be embarrassed. We all threw out five bricks of powdered sugar the first time we modularized our pantries too. And because that's one of those things you just never know, right? Do I have it? Do I not have it? But we will design what's gonna fit best in your cabinets and what will stack where so that maybe your, maybe your cabinet is five high. Maybe it's not, maybe it's three high and we need to do this. Maybe you're also a pourer and a scooper and that section for your pasta center or your baking center, you want some rectangle, some super oval, we can do that. Not a problem at all. And if you want to do some things in your bathroom and in your garage or your craft room, you can easily say the black ones are going in the bathroom, the blue ones are going with the food or vice versa, whatever it might be but modulars are really the way to go. You also have cereal stores. At our house, some people have, I, I know actually use this for their cereal, right? Crazy enough, just exactly what Tupperware tells you to do. Or they've used it for like their cat food or dog food. We don't have a cat, we're all allergic. The dogs, this, this is a joke. So this, One is, day. Like, this, this is like dog. a day or two, right? For real, so I can't use these for my dog food because I have a big dog and two little dogs and they eat a lot of food. So what can you use them for? You can use them for cereal, you can use them for rice, you can use them for pasta. If you're a big rice eater, like we ate rice a ton as kids in my mom's house, these were perfect for that. Mm -hmm. I personally use the Super Opal 5 with a pour all seal for my cereal because it stacks right up in my pantry and they're, they're all rounded where these are a little bulkier so it just throws it off a little bit and it kind of gets me a little skitzy, right? <laughs> this should be for like peanut butter M&Ms, really. You should have these in your pantry and eat them when you need them at will. Well. When you're looking and trying to decide what are we having for dinner this week, you're pouring out some peanut butter on and and you're looking, just saying, these are snacks. Easy things. And it could be that you need to use it for something in your office. Maybe you use a lot of paper clips. Then put it in your freaking office and use it for paper clips. I mean, there are things you can do. It doesn't, if there's not a rule, which I've heard is not a rule that we didn't say it, so you can't use it that way. Use it however it's going to best suit you and your family. <laughs> then you've got our spice shakers. So get in touch with your consultant if you're interested in any spice classes because we do them periodically here at the studio. Your spice shakers are going to keep things fresh for at least six months. So you know not to store them over your stove because that condensation will happen. It deteriorates your actual spices and then they aren't as flavorful. Have you ever noticed you have to add a whole bunch of something? It's because it's losing its flavor. So you've got your shaking side, just to shake a little out, and you've got your spoon side. So if you needed to measure out a little bit or pour a whole bunch in, you know, you'd like a certain seasoning, go for it. This will hold about a cup and a half of a seasoning. So they come in sets of four. Right now they're a buy one, get one, which is incredible. There's also our limited edition, um, limited time is our spice carousel. So the spice carousel is not always around, right? Thanks. Now when you're modularizing, you can have your own custom kitchen as a party. That could be your party. Have some friends over, we'll modularize your pantry, get some of your stuff at half price, because I would say, usually a super set, you probably need at least two to get started. But when you're doing all that, every hundred dollars that you spend or your friends spend, you can get a spaghetti dispenser for a dollar, one dollar. Later this month, we're gonna be doing a make and take with these. So stay tuned and ask your consultants about that as well, because who wouldn't want to make something cool in your life? Tortilla soup or brown, sand art brownies. What a cute gift. Hi, thanks. <laughs> There's also our, can you see that from there? Our no time to waste bag that you can get for how much? One dollar. Another one, a reusable bag. 
a dollar and a dollar. That's ridiculous. We're, going, we're trying to be green, right? Everyone's trying to do what they can with our reusable straws the Tupperware has come out with and our reusable totes. How nice is that to go? And it says no time to waste. Why? Because life goes fast and so does the planet. <laughs> Just saying, hold on. So here you've got your potato keepers. You know they say keep your potatoes in a cool, dark place. This is cool just by how it looks. So check, and it's dark because it's blood. But it's able to breathe in here. So you have your potato and garlic keepers. For me, for a long time, I did Weight Watchers, and this was where we put the 100 calorie packs, because I could just grab it and go, and I didn't have to pour out the peanut butter M&Ms. This was faster. So whatever's gonna work for you. If it's an easy way for kids to grab a quick granola bar or a snack without them having to open a container because they're lazy as all get out sometimes, right? These entitled children who can't help themselves, <laughs> right? These are things that you can do with that. Whatever it is you might need, it could be that you use it for dog treats. I don't know, you decide. But they're available right now and everything is on sale. So plan your custom kitchen, get with your consultant, see what they can get for you or what you need, and this sale is limited. So this sale will end January 31st. It will go away, bye-bye, not to be seen again. So will these blue seals. Mm -hmm. So if you like this exclusive color, you can just order seals to do your, a makeover for your already customized kitchen. Call your consultant, get in touch. Have a happy new year. We'll see you next week.